Good morning, everyone. Change of scenery, I know, jump scare. I am here in my bathroom. I'm gonna be doing a little decluttering, organizing video, mostly selfishly because I haven't cleaned my bathroom in well, let's not focus on numbers. As y'all know, I am constantly buying new skincare products. I'm always wanting to try new products to review for you guys, which means that my bathroom and skincare space tends to get a little overloaded. A complete hog mess, if you will. And if you're someone like me who loves staying up until 3 a.m. watching satisfying organizing videos, then this one's for y'all. If you're someone who has extreme ADHD like me, you already know that organization doesn't really ever occur as a thought in the brain. I kind of thrive in a mess, but unfortunately that also means that things are just rarely clean. And you might think, oh yeah, Hiram, this looks pretty bad. Oh no, my friend. So yeah, I think that serves as evidence enough as to why I need to clean my bathroom. So let's just jump into it. Let's go. So I'm going to start with like the tabletop vanity area. I don't know what it's called because this is where all the magic happens. But as you can tell, it's pretty disorganized, not to mention for like the past two months, all of the skincare that I use on a daily basis has been in my travel bag. I live in a permanent unpacked state. Don't look at my suitcase outside on the floor. I have a recycling bag right here for all the empty products and I'm gonna do some wipe down cleaning action, which is not on brand for me. I'm feeling extra vigorous today. All right, let's get it. You guys, not even five minutes into filming this and there's already an injury. A while ago, I used these razors to get rid of the excess hairs around my eyebrows and I picked one up, not realizing it didn't have a cover on it. And sliced myself and I am definitely certain that this is not sanitary. Ugh, God damn it. Is this a universal sign telling me not to organize? I think so. Have a great day. <laughs> and I just know this is never gonna heal because it's on my thumb. God damn it. Anyway, on with organizing. Ooh, I wanted to show you guys as well because a lot of people don't know about this. If you have empty skincare products, please recycle them. For example, I have this selfless moisturizer that is pretty much, oh, okay. Well, maybe not completely empty, but it is like totally empty. So what you wanna do is squeeze out the rest of the excess product. Okay, yeah, see a very small amount. And then you're gonna wanna take some scissors, cut across the top. Cut down the middle. Double check that there's no excess product in there, which there is. I don't know if you can see, but look how much product is in there. Holy shit, okay, that's a lot. Okay, normally I would save this, but I do have, thankfully, more selfless moisturizers. So I'm just gonna do full body moisturizing, mm -hmm. then just take the top, put it in and recycle it. Now for selfless products, you can recycle with the cap, but most skincare products out there, you have to separate the components in order to recycle them. So make sure whenever you're decluttering your skincare space that you separate everything, check what can be recycled and what can't be. That way it doesn't contaminate your entire bag of recycled items and you can make sure you're helping the planet. Voila. Okay, on with organizing. Okay y'all, so I started by cleaning and rinsing some of the empty or nearly empty products so that I could recycle them afterwards. You always wanna make sure that you do that whenever you try to recycle products. And I got a good way through cleaning before my ADHD fully hit and I started talking to you guys again. So as I'm cleaning, I noticed that I have multiple, almost empty bottles of my shaving cream and it's really difficult to squeeze the shaving cream out of these bad boys. So I got the top of like a a hair care product, I think. I'm just gonna squeeze all of them into here so that I can recycle these and then just continually use this as like my shaving cream bowl. Not the most sanitary, but definitely more sanitary than whatever the hell this is. <laughs> By the way, if you're someone who shaves your face and you struggle with ingrown hairs, Art of Shaving and Scented Cream literally changed my life. The best shaving cream ever. I will use this until I die. So, so good. I'll have it linked down below as well as the other products that I talk about in today's video if you guys do wanna check them out and do a little bit of shopping. Okay guys, if nothing motivates you to recycle your products, use this as fucking motivation because I was ready to throw out all of these, but look how much shaving cream was still left. This will last me like a month. <laughs> I'm going to put it in an airtight container so that way it like stays fresh and sanitary, but wow, look at all this product. That's so much. And we can recycle. One eternity later. Okay guys, so I'm back. I had to take a break to do a bunch of calls and then I just woke up from a nap. So it's the perfect time to clean because I don't really have to think because my brain's operating at 25%. So after I put this stuff away, my vanity is gonna see something that it has never seen. Cleaning solution. Just kidding, it has been clean, but it has been quite a while. And I know you guys are seeing this and probably judging me being like, Hiram, how can you let it get to this point? Depression. That's all I got. Okay, on with the cleaning. Can we just take a second to look at how Fucking nasty that sink is. Oh my God, I haven't cleaned it in so long. It's really only toothpaste and mouthwash residue, but it still looks nasty. So I decided to enter my TikTok satisfying cleaning videos era and decided to clean it all up. Hi, uh, question. If anyone knows how to get rid of this kind of stain and a stink, stink. 
in a sink. Let me know because I have no idea how to get it out and it's been there like literally forever. So if any of y'all know, hit me up because it's driving me crazy. Okay, so we finished with the sink. It is looking much better and we got this area all clean. I kind of want to keep it like this for like a year because I haven't seen it this clean in so long, but I have the products in the boxes here. I'll organize it after. Let's move over to this side because boy, this needs help. Okay, so this side was interesting because as I was cleaning everything, I was like, what the fuck do I even have on my shelf? There's scissors, a random speaker, an empty cup, a half-filled squirt bottle. Like if this isn't a physical manifestation of what my mind looks like on a daily basis, I don't know what is. But I made pretty good progress, even spot cleaning the little shelf I have. So I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so now that the vanity is finished, here comes the real challenge. Emptying all of this and organizing it and deciding which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to give away, which is always a difficult process because y'all know me. I want to use absolutely everything, but I only have one face. I have the boxes with the skincare products from my vanity. I think I'm gonna stick with that organization system for now, just clear everything out and then figure it all out from there. Let's fucking go. And in starting this part, this was about the time that I started to realize, holy shit, this is gonna take me fucking forever. You guys, as I'm taking out all this stuff, it's so funny to see what products are from videos I filmed before because look what I found. Makeup wipes. I found this in the very back of my shelf. <laughs> I wonder why. I was shocked and horrified to find this. This was from a video. I believe where I tested out Sephora's lowest rated skincare. You guys should go check it out, but definitely won't be using these. Also while doing this, I can completely see my ADHD brain at work because do you know how many duplicate products I found? This is at least the third that I met you living cleansing balm. And I know I have three of these because I couldn't find one. Assumed I finished it, bought another one, only to realize I have three halfway used products. So don't learn from my example. This is diagnosed mental illness. <laughs> so you might be watching this sped up video and thinking, oh, hi, you're doing pretty good. You're staying pretty focused. Or an or. I graciously cut out all the moments where I was either hyper fixating on the Game of Thrones episode I was watching or sitting there paralyzed with indecisiveness because I don't know what to do. Whew. Okay, guys, this is all from the first cabinet. Oh, I'm starting to realize I do have a problem. I will say in my defense, some of these products were sent to me like maybe like 5%. This is really embarrassing. To be honest, I get so mad at myself when I see this because I'm just like, oh, Hiram, you're always preaching just a four step routine is perfect for skincare. You don't need more. Why are you purchasing all these products? But I will say, if I did not have a YouTube channel, my skincare collection would not look like this at all. But when I make recommendations for you guys, my goal is always to test and use the products before I recommend them to you. That way I can make sure that they're the best possible products out there. And I don't feel comfortable doing that if I haven't tried and used the products first. And I always feel bad like asking brands for products. I am the type of person where I'm just like, you know what, it's okay, I'll just buy it. And then I end up with a fucking problem like this. Ugh. But no worries, for a lot of these unused products, I will be donating them and make sure you stick around to the end of the video for a special surprise But yeah, let's keep moving on with the rest of the products So this part of the cleaning was by far the nastiest part because oh my god There was so much random shit in this drawer the whole time I was cleaning it I was thinking am I a new episode of hoarders? Is that my brand now? Yeah, y'all it was a ugh, mess Whew, Okay, second drawer is done. I found some really surprising things first off cash I don't know how that got there. And second of all, a bunch of batteries which have started to deteriorate. So there was battery acid every fucking wear. Anyway, moving on to the third drawer. Y'all, I'm getting so tired already and I haven't even organized anything. Okay, let's go. So by the time I started cleaning the last shelf, I was like, fuck an organization system. I'm just gonna bring out all the products, lay them out onto the ground and then organize them from there, which was a pretty good system until I realized, oh my God, I have to organize all of the shit and I'm already like three hours in. And then I took all the nearly empty bottles and emptied them out, rinsed them, took off the sticker so I could make sure they could be properly recycled, which another pro tip, if you are recycling your products, you wanna make sure you take off any stickers or labels and separate all the components because otherwise it won't be recyclable. Super frustrating that that's the recycling reality we live in, but you know, you do what you gotta do. <sighs> okay guys, so it is 10 o'clock at night. As you can probably tell, I am feeling really tired of this project. And normally this would be the time where I'd be like, fuck it, I'm leaving it how it is and going to bed. I know if I don't do this now, it will never get done and there are skincare products everywhere. So I'm gonna rapid fire finish this. I'm thinking to put all my hair care and body care products over here and then my skincare products on the other side. I already kind of organized the products, recycled the expired ones, set aside the unused products. So we're getting there. I feel like we're close. So yeah, let's just do this shit because I'm f***ing over it. <laughs> okay, so by this point in the video, I was like, I am f***ing done talking to the camera. I just need to focus on getting this done because it was already midnight and I just needed to focus in. So I created a cool organization system where I arranged each product type in a line, so whether it be cleansing balms, serums, cleansers, moisturizers, what have you. And then I arranged it front to back based off the schedule of what I want 
want to try first versus what I want to try last. And I think this organization system is pretty good because when everything is piled up together, I completely lose track of which products I have. It just all becomes a mess. And at 2 a.m., I finally finished it. This is the finished look. I know to most people it might not look that satisfying, but boy, it is satisfying as fuck to me. I've never seen my bathroom look so clean except for, you know, when I moved in. Everything's organized, everything has a place, but it's not too anally organized to the point where I feel like I can't touch anything. Like I need a little bit of mess in there for me to feel fully comfortable in my own bathroom. And I think it looks pretty good, but comment below it. Let me know what you think. Okay guys, it is a few days later. Let me just give you a quick rundown on what happened. I drastically underestimated how long it was going to take for me to organize my bathroom. I stopped counting after 10 hours. It took that long, which I know my bathroom didn't even look that bad, but when it comes to an indecisive bitch like me, who can't figure out which products to keep, which ones to recycle, and which ones to give away, you just run into a whole ass mess. Hence why the majority of projects that I start are left unfinished, disorganized, and I continue living in the pigsty that I do. And honestly, after how long it took for me to clean my bathroom, I might just be happy living in a pigsty. I'm so happy and I'm so glad that you guys got to see the very sped up version and didn't have to suffer until 3 a.m. in the morning like I did. But if you stayed until the end of the video, I have a really exciting surprise for you. As I was organizing my bathroom, I noticed that there was a lot of duplicate products or brand new products that I had already tried that I really didn't need. And this is the amount of products. Oh my God, it's heavy. I need to lift more. And originally I was thinking the surprise would be that I would pick one of you guys to receive all of these products. But then I realized this is a shit ton of products that is way more than one person needs. And I wanted to share the love with more of you guys. So if you've gotten to this point of the video, make sure you go over to Instagram and message me with a bottle emoji and that you finish this video. And then I'll message you back from there. This isn't a giveaway. There's no rules. You don't have to like follow anything or do anything. Just make sure you message me so I know who you are. I just want to give these products to you guys, especially the first five people who see this, just as a thank you for consistently watching my videos. So good luck to the first five people who watched this part of the video, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this and joining this journey of complete disorganized chaos with me. This was a, uh, fun is not the right word, productive. Like I said, all the products that I've talked about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.